Hi, my name is Thais Gibson and I'm the creator of the Personal Development School. This is your daily breakthrough video. And in this video, I want to discuss with you if grand gestures are a good or bad thing in relationships, specifically the romantic ones. So this is actually based on a question I've gotten many, many times um, inside PDS in a variety of different forms. And a lot of people will say, oh, like grand gestures, you know, we, we are essentially conditioned to see these grand gestures on television and in Disney movies, and they are signs of love and affection and care. And the more recently when people are starting to sort of um, do a deep dive into love bombing, narcissism, things like that. I've had a lot of people sort of on the flip side say, oh my gosh, our grand gesture signs of narcissism and love bombing and all these different things. And so I really wanted to, to do a deep dive into this topic in a little more detail. And the answer I have for you in this situation is grand gestures are not necessarily a bad thing at all. Um, they can be a really nice thing, but in specific contexts and situations, and they're highly dependent on what the person's relationship is to doing the grand gesture itself. So we're going to break this down, and I want to start by breaking it down um, in the form of narcissism. With narcissists, you'll often see they go through the love bombing phase. And this is the phase of relationships where they are just like doing anything and everything they can, many grand gestures to really win somebody over. And in this case, in the case of the narcissist specifically, their relationship to the grand gesture is to use the grand gesture subconsciously most of the time as a strategy to manipulate somebody and to basically manipulate into the desired outcome that they're looking to create in that relationship dynamic. So let's say that the narcissist is in that dating stage, that love bombing phase where they do that. The grand gesture is like, I want you to see how great I am. I want you to really want to be with me and to think there's nobody else like me. Like the, the grand gesture in the case of the narcissist is often self-serving. In other cases, later on into the relationship, the grand gesture um, can be there as a strategy to make somebody move on after you've hurt them or done them wrong. And so the person's relationship to the grand gesture in those cases can be a form of manipulation or a tactic to really create an outcome. Like, okay, I, you know, did something bad in the relationship last week and you caught me and now you've been pulling away and I want to know that you're going to stay and come back with me. And I want you to stop giving me our time. So I will give you this grand gesture. And it's almost like this covert contract, like in, in exchange for getting back on track on the relationship. And so in these cases, yes, grand gestures can be manipulation tactics or techniques. Um, and in a few other forms as well, but those are some of the really most common and like, you know, clear ones to, to look at. Um, but we also can have somebody who decides that they want to create some kind of grand gesture in a relationship actually, I want to say one other thing. Sometimes as well, people who are not narcissists can have an unhealthy relationship to grand gestures because they can use a grand gesture as a subconscious strategy to relieve their own guilt. Um, so we won't see this necessarily as a narcissist because narcissists don't often feel a lot of guilt or empathy, but um, you know, let's say we have an insecurely attached style and they feel guilty about something like forgetting to call back or, you know, having to cancel plans or something like that. In those cases, sometimes they can have a grand gesture that can be partially based on contribution to the other person, but can also be based on, I'm doing this out of guilt. I'm doing this to avoid guilt. It's not necessarily what I would want to be doing in alignment with my truth, but it's something I'm doing specifically to get rid of this guilty feeling. Um, so we can see situations like that as well. Hi, I just wanted to jump in here really quickly and let you know that we are doing one of our most exciting promotions that we do during the entire year, and it is our lifetime promotional sale. So basically the lifetime membership to the personal development school gives you access to all of the 55 plus courses we've ever recorded. And I record a new course and create new content every single month, and it will give you access to all future courses. It also gives you access to all of the daily community events we have, group shares, social events, guided meditations, guided morning and evening routines, communication scripts, practice um, for communicating through challenging situations, and the four live webinars that I do with our students every single week. So at any point when you have a question, um, you're able to jump in there, ask me a question, and we have a history of webinars on a whole bunch of different topics. So it's basically endless content. And the really nice thing about the lifetime promotion is not only do you get to continuously learn for life, 
So that gives you the safety and comfort of knowing that you can rely on anything that you need in terms of going through a challenging situation, be it a breakup, be it a really rocky time in your romantic relationship with somebody. If you're looking to work on boundaries, some sort of change in the workplace, we've got courses for that as well. Um, so there's all these resources at your fingertips for life. And that promotion is going on right now. You can click the link below for almost 50% off. And I would love to see you on the other side. Come join me in the webinars. Come ask me questions. And thank you for watching this. And then on the flip side, um, sometimes we see grand gestures on and, and sometimes love bombing um, from anxiously attached individuals that are not narcissistic at all, but that just are in a place of like lacking in self-love and really only knowing how to source their needs from their external world. And so they get this need met through love bombing to try to bond with somebody, connect with somebody. And it's like, they're just trying to like find a way to build relationships, but they can also be grand gestures that sort of like end up causing them to self-abandon. They can spend so much money and not really be aware that they have financial boundaries around something, or they can give all of their time away and not really have a time boundary. They spend all this time planning for everybody else and then they feel like nobody's there to look out for them or to do something nice for them. So we can have like sort of a healthy or unhealthy relationship to grand gestures. It's basically the root of what I'm trying to explain here to you. And um, in the healthy form, you may see that somebody decides, okay, I'm going to show up and take part in this grand gesture specifically for the purpose of trying to show my partner love, show my partner care, plan for them, be thinking of them, be affectionate towards them. But in this case, you'll see grand gestures are something that this person does, but this person who's doing the grand gesture is also in a good relationship to themselves. So they're doing things that feel really good for them. They're giving from a place of abundance. Um, they're not doing something that they're going to then feel like their partner owes them for the grand gesture they did later um, because they're not giving from lack. We tend to feel like, oh, somebody owes me when I give from lack, then I'm keeping a tally. When I give from abundance, I'm not participating in that same way, right? So you'll see these different dynamics um, and, and grand gestures in the case of healthier relationships, you will see that they can absolutely happen, but you will see generally a slightly lower frequency. Um, because the foundational component of connection in the relationship will be so strong that there's not often so much to compensate for through grand gestures. And so you'll see grand gestures in two securely attached individuals' relationships be more like um, thoughtful experiences around meaningful occasions. <laughs> That's how I would describe that version of grand gestures, where somebody goes out of their way, they plan something, they do something super nice, super thoughtful and caring, um, but it's coming from a place of rootedness, groundedness, not to earn worth or avoid guilt or manipulate an outcome, but from a true place of contribution, but also from a place of contributing um, in a way where I give from a cup that's already full, if that makes sense. And so there's no resentment or you owe me back or anything like that later on. Um, and there's no way it would get like brought up later in some kind of different form. So anyways, that is my take on grand gestures. Um, I've had lots of questions about it. So I figured it would be sort of a fun topic to address. I hope that makes sense. Um, thank you so much for watching and for being here. Please like share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.